Hello everybody, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday and this Friday I'm going to show you how to make this little mini granny square with a embossed flower. <laughs> And these measure about two inches by two inches, so they're quite small, as you can see. But they're fairly simple to make, she says. But it's always worth having a go, um, even if you're new to crochet. So for these little um, flower granny squares, we're going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, an E hook. And we're going to be using some DK light worsted weight yarn. Here we are, I've got some, it's this King Cole Pricewise DK yarn. This is a light worsted weight yarn, that's a category weight of three. And I've chosen a sort of a greeny, bluey colour, pastel colour and a cream as well. So we're going to be using those two colours, but of course you can use any yarn you like. If you use a thicker yarn, you'll end up with a bigger square. And it's also a good idea to have a yarn needle and some scissors. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we're going to start by using the cream colour. So this is the colour you want the square part to be. So you start with that first. And taking your 3.5mm crochet hook, we are going to chain four to begin. So just chain four. Let's do a little slip knot. And then we chain four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're just going to slip stitch into our first chain to form a loop. So find your first chain and pop your hook in there, just like so, and then just bring the yarn through the chain and then through the loop on your hook to slip stitch. And that creates a little loop of your chains. And in the middle of that loop, as you can see in the middle hole there, we're going to work five single crochets. So you want to put your hook into that centre hole, not into any of the chains. Ignore the chains now. We just want to go right in the middle, put your hook through there, and bring the yarn through and work a single crochet. Okay? So there's one. And we need to do five of these. So you go back in and do another. Two. Back in to the middle, three, four, and five. And when you've done five single crochets into the middle of that loop, you can just pull your tail end, and that does bring in the centre hole a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. So find your first single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And just put your hook into there. Put into that loop first and I always bring it over to find the seconds. You'd always should be catching two bits of yarn. So then we just bring our yarn through that stitch for that single crochet and through the loop on your hook. And that joins the round. You should still have a stitch count of five, two, four, five. But what we're going to do now is we're going to chain one. We want to keep it quite loose. So bring up your yarn a little bit and then do your chain one. And that makes it easier to see the chain one at the end. Then going back into the same stitch we just slip stitched into. So underneath your chain one, you want to go back into that same stitch that you just slip stitched into and we're going to do a single crochet. Okay, so technically in that first stitch we have an increase of a chain one and a single crochet, so you should have two stitches in there. And in the next stitch we're going to do two single crochet. So go into the next stitch and do a single crochet and go back into the same stitch and do another single crochet. And then we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around in the remaining three. So in the next stitch we do two single crochet, one and two. So go back into the same stitch. So it's two in there and then two single crochet in the next stitch. One 
and two and then in the last one two single crochet in the last stitch as well one and two and it always looks like you've got a stitch left you've got two in there always looks like you've got a stitch left and it can be look quite big but that's actually a fake stitch we ignore that because we want to slip stitch into our chain one so just double check you've got ten two she should have doubled up now from five to ten so you've got two four six eight nine and including your chain one ten so just after that fake stitch there you should find your chain one hidden down there and if you kept it loose enough it should be fairly easy to slip stitch into so just then we move over to find the rest of the stitch so you've got two bits and then we just slip stitch through there and then through the loop on your hook so by the end of that round you should have 10 stitches so you should have doubled up and what we're going to do now is we are going to we're going to chain four we can just don't need to bring it up or anything like that we can just chain as normal so one two three and four now the first two chains are going to count as a double crochet and then the second two chains are going to be our two chain spaces that we create as you can see on here in each corner that will become clear so what we're going to do after that is we're going to skip one stitch so ignoring the stitch down there that you slip stitched into the next stitch there you want to skip that first stitch then in the next stitch we're going to work four double crochet in that next stitch but we're only going to do it in the back loop because normally we would go in at the front and we would go through two bits you see there we catch two bits of yarn well we only want to go into that back bit the one this side so if you place your hook in the middle we're just going to put our hook underneath the back stitch so make sure you yarn over first and then bring the yarn through there and work a double crochet okay so remembering to skip one and in the next stitch in the back loop only we do a double crochet and we're going to do another three of those so go back into that back loop again and do another three double crochet so that's one Two, three. <laughs> Background noise. Um, so you should end up with four double crochet in that back loop stitch. Then what we're going to do? We're going to chain two, one, and two. So after you chain two, we're going to skip two. So you want to skip the next stitch and the next stitch and then yarn over skip one skip two and in the next stitch in the back loop only so remember just in that back loop we're going to do another four double crochet okay so I haven't completely caught that properly so skip one skip two and then in that back loop only there we go we're going to work four double crochet so that's one back in two three and four so this time you've chained two skipped two and then worked four double crochet in that back loop only of the next stitch then we chain two again one and two but this time we only skip one so don't skip two skip one then in the next stitch in the back loop only we do our four double crochet Two, three, some more yarn, and four. 
four double crochet. Okay, so you chain one, skip only one this time, and then four double crochet in the back loop of the next stitch. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, and then what we're going to do is we're going to skip two this time. So skip the next stitch, skip the next stitch, and then you're back at the beginning. And what we want to do is find that back loop of the stitch there, just in that back loop. There should be a stitch on top, which is the one you slip stitch, basically your slip stitch. So in that back loop, we're going to work three double crochet, only three this time. So that's one, go back into that back loop. Two, might be a bit tighter to work into because it's a slip stitch, but and three. So only work three double crochet. And the reason for that is our first two chains count as a double crochet. So in your second chain, so there's our first, there's our second, you want to slip stitch into that second chain. Like so. Okay, so by the end of that round it should look a little something like that. So you should have skipped one there, skip two there, skip one there, skip two there, but you always chain two regardless. Okay, so because you've worked into the back loops only, it's left your front loops ready for your flower. But what we're going to do, we're going to do one more round first. We're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, chained six. And the first two chains are going to count as a double crochet, and then the four last four chains are going to be our chain spaces that are here. These ones here, these are four chains. So what we're going to do, we're going to do two double crochet in our first two chain space. So there's our first two chain spaces, big, big hole. So just put your um, hook into that big hole and work two double crochet. Be a little bit careful. There's one and two. Okay, then we're going to do one double crochet in the next four stitches. So you need to find the one on the very corner first. Always make sure you find that one first. Do double crochet. So that's one and one in the next stitch. Two. One in the next stitch. Three and one in the next stitch. Four. Okay, so you've done one double crochet in each stitch along. Then we're going to do two double crochet in the next two chain space. So just put your hook in that big hole and do two double crochet. One and two. Then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. That creates our corner. And then we do another two double crochet in the same two chain space. So go back into that big hole and do another two double crochet. One and two. And then we do one double crochet in the next four. So make sure we find that one on the corner first, don't miss that first one. That's one, two, three, four. Then we do the same again, we do two double crochet in our two chain space. One, let's move it over, two, Over. Then we create our chain four. One, two, three, four, which creates our corner. Then we do two double crochet again in our two chain space. Another two double crochet in there. One and two. Put my yarn. Then we do one double crochet in each stitch along, so making sure we find that one on the corner. 
one, two, three, and four. And then the last corner, we're going to do two double crochet in our two chain space. One and let's move it over two and chain four to get our corner one, two, three, four. Then two double crochet again in our big two chain space one and two. And then what we do is we're going to do one double crochet in the next three stitches. It's going to be our last three obvious stitches. So find that one on the corner, do a double crochet just like before. So it's one, and then one in the next stitch, two, then one in the next stitch. But what we need to do first is we're short of a few stitches, so we're going to do two double crochet in this two chain space. So going back down to this two chain space down here, not this not this one here, but the one that we worked in at the very beginning. We're going to do a couple of double crochets in there, but make sure you keep your chains out of the way. So we do one double crochet in there. Just make sure to keep those chains over and go back in and do another one. Okay. There we go. And then all we need to do then is to slip stitch in the second chain of our first six. Because we chained six at the very beginning. So fine, there's the first chain, there's the second. So just popping your hook into that second chain. We do a slip stitch. Like so. And there's the back of our square. And you could effectively just stop there if you wanted to, or even if you didn't want to do the flower on top, you could just not work into the back loops and just work into the stitches as normal and have a little granny square. We're going to fasten off there. Like so. And then what I like to do is I like to tie my tails now. So I'm going to get my yarn needle. And then I'm just going to sew along slightly just to get it to the back and then I'm going to hide my yarn ends as best I can then trim the excess and then we can trim the one at the beginning as well. And now we're ready to work on our circle, uh, circle, on our flower. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our green yarn and what we need to do is find our front loops that we we left on our second round when we were um, working our stitches up to ten. And you can see them there. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then you sort of get a bit of a, a clump there. So finding that first obvious front loop stitch that you left, put your hook into there, and we're going to yarn over with our um, green colour. And what I do is I just I just secure it with a little chain one like so but I don't count that as a stitch it's just to secure it into place but then I go back into that same front loop and we want to work a single crochet like so single crochet and then we're going to yarn over and go back into the same front loop same front loop and we do a double crochet so, all three to do before two, double crochet. Then we want to do two a treble crochet. And so do a treble crochet, we yarn over twice, one and two, wrap it round your hook twice. 
we go back into the same stitch bring our yarn through and with any larger stitches anything double crochet uh, upwards in US terminology we always pull through two so we pull through on this treble we pull through the first two leaves us three pull through the next two leaves us two then pull through the last two okay we want to do another one of those so we yarn over twice go back into the same front loop bring the yarn through so you've got four loops then yarn over pull through two leaves you three loops yarn over pull through two leaves you two loops yarn over pulls through the last two and that creates the first half of a petal so what we want to do now is to mirror that so we start off with two treble crochet so we yarn over twice then we go into the next front loop so you need to find your next front loop like so and bring your yarn through and do your treble by pulling through two pulling through two pulling through two and we want two of those Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. So you've done two trebles. Then we do a double crochet. So back into the same front loop. Do a double crochet. And then we finish up with a single crochet. And there's our first petal created over two stitches. The first half was in the first front loop and then the second half is in the second front loop. And we just repeat that round for the remaining stitches, going back into the uh, repeating the same thing. So we find our next front loop and we do a single crochet. And we go back up, so next stitch is a double crochet. And then we do our two trebles. And then we just mirror it in the next front loop by doing the two trebles and then the double crochet and then the single crochet. So I'm going to do that and then I shall come back. So I'm just coming up to the last half of the petal and you should be left with just one um, front loop left and we're just going to finish up as normal with our 2TR 1DC and a single crochet. So yarn over twice, finding that last front loop. Do that again because I don't think I caught all of that front loop. There you go. 
This is our first treble. Second. And I'm so cool. And then I'll single crochet to finish. And then what I do just to finish off is find the first front loop that you work the first half of the petal into and put your hook in there but come out in between the green and the cream and just bring your yarn round the back pull through there and work a slip stitch like so then we want to cut the yarn pull it up and there we go you should have created five petals in those front loops. So all we need to do now is hide our tail ends. What I do is I yarn, put the yarn on the yarn needle and then just go in between the two colours and then I hide the green tail ends in the green yarn. Then when you're happy, just cut the excess yarn and you're finished. And there we go. So there's our finished flower granny square. And you may want to block these and to block these all you need to do is to pin your square onto something and uh, make it wet and then let it dry with the pins in into shape and then it should keep its shape a little bit better and then you can obviously make lots and lots of these and turn them into a baby blanket uh, or something of your choice so uh, eventually I will come back and do a follow-up on this video um, hopefully uh, after I've made a few more of these little granny square flower granny squares and uh, show you how to join them um, but until then, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you'll join me next Friday for some more Yarn Scrap Friday and uh, I should be bringing you another letter tutorial soon as well for the letter Y. So, um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. Cheers guys, bye! Bye bye bye!